it's more fun to focus on things like machine learning and artificial intelligence. So this was announced on Friday from uh, the research arm of Google. They now have you know, Google Books, this big database. You want to talk to books? You're librarians, right? But wouldn't you like to talk to a book? So you can say something like, what smell brings back great memories? Or I could say something about, you know, what if I'm looking for something like climbing stories? And it's pulling out from books actual passages and giving you some idea of what are, what are these books. So I can look at Gertrude's climbs. So you see some bad OCR kinds of issues in here. But if you want something fun to play with, I've just started with this since it was just announced. But I could see this, could it be potentially be used for a different kind of reader's advisory? I'm saying, well, let's see what of the book corpus that Google knows about. And most of these that I'm seeing look like more recent books here. If I try their samples on why is the Turing test important, of course, as a librarian, I'm like, thank you for the title and author. It'd be nice if I had the date of the book here as well, but hey. Um, oh, what's really interesting here on this example is this is a book by Ray Kurzweil. Uh, Kurzweil is one of the developers and the head of this area who made the announcement, and one of his books comes up. That's sort of nice. <laughs> so you might take a look <coughs> at books.google.com slash talk to books. You want to see another example um, of what they've just announced is you want to do some gaming. There's Symantris, word association games powered by machine learning. Um, I tried the blocks one, so I don't know about the think fast things. This won't work without my reading glasses. <laughs> and the first thing that comes to mind, where am I typing? That's really nice. I've got the search box way down in the bottom, you know, or it's not actually the response box. So if I say something like hair and musical, then it moves things around. I don't know if that was the first thing that come to mind as you scored forward. So anyway, you can play with things and see what their machine learning is doing and expect it to be learning from your responses at the same time. Uh, apparently there's some sound on this, but I have mine muted. So. That's just two examples of the ways that Google is pulling this in. 